Hello launchers, it's Joshua. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through your launch cart store admin panel. This is where you get to manage your entire online store or any other store that you create with launch cart. So I'm gonna make this video as fast as I can. There's gonna be a lot to cover here, but I'm gonna do it in a short and sweet fashion. And I really want you to understand how the control panel works, because if you understand that, it's gonna make your life a lot easier and it's gonna make you uh, build your sites even faster. So let's begin. When you first log in, you get taken to your dashboard. And your dashboard just gives you a high level overview of a few things. We get to see some stats and revenue once you start selling products. At the very top here, we have links to our quick start guide, which is probably how you're watching this video from. We have our links to our knowledge base where you can look up uh, FAQs and find answers to questions you have before you contact us. And then right here in the middle, we have our required section. Now, there's only actually three things you need to do before you can have a completed and ready to go online store. And those are listed here. I'll talk about those later. And then on the right hand side, we have our social networks. So if you want to follow launch cart, see what's new, what's coming, you can get help from our friendly staff. You can follow us by clicking on these links here. So with that said, let's now dive into the navigation panel here on the left hand side. And let me kind of walk you through how this works. So you'll see that it's separated in two different blocks. We have the top half and we have the bottom half. And the top half is really for you to manage your products, orders, and customers. That's about it. That's what all of these things up here are for. Anything that relates to creating products, to managing your orders, to managing your customers, you do on the first half. Then the second half is all about your actual store. Things about um, your settings, your appearance, your look and feel, third-party integrations, and so on. So once you understand that, it will make you uh, really have a good grasp of how this control panel works. Now I'm going to take you in page by page and show you exactly what each one of these links means. When you click on your products, you get taken to a page, and this is where all of your eventual products that you create will show up. Once you create a product, whether it's live on your site or maybe it's in draft status, it will show up here. If you want to create a new product, you simply click click here. And this will bring you to our product wizard. And you have a few choices to choose from. You can create a brand new product. You can create a brand new print on demand product like a t-shirt or a hat or mug. We actually have hundreds of available products that you can start selling right away. Or you can create a product using our design marketplace. And we'll get into this in other videos when I talk about how to create products. But for now, I just want to give you a high level overview. So I'm going to close this out. And let's continue on. The next link we have is the drafts page. Now, this page is very similar to your products page, but it will show you all of your products that are currently saved in draft mode if you have any. Since this is a brand new store that we're starting with, we don't have any products in here yet. So a lot of these pages may look a little blank right now, but that's okay because once you start adding products, things will get filled out. Next is you have your categories. And I recommend people usually starting here pretty often or pretty early on so they can create categories for their store and we'll have a video just on this. Then we have your sales and coupons. This is an area where you can create sales uh, and coupon codes that you can hand out to your, store uh, to your store visitors. You can email these coupon codes to your visitors. You can put these coupon codes on your website. You can even create site-wide automatic sales. So maybe it's a holiday and you want to mark everything 10% off. You can do that from here. Next, we jump into our orders tab. And this is where all of your orders will eventually show up as you start making sales. So you'll actually get to see who bought what, when they bought it, what they purchased, and so on and so on. And you'll see all of your totals as well, how much they spent, how much you earned, all of that from this page. Next, we have our abandoned carts. And this is a very unique feature. Uh, we don't have any abandoned carts in here because we, don't, we haven't driven any visitors to this brand new store yet. But what this does is this will show you all of the people who have visited your store, went to your checkout, and then abandon the checkout page. Okay, very cool feature. And what LaunchCart can do is it can automatically send emails to those abandoned checkout users and it can follow up, uh, follow up with them and uh, ultimately get them to come back to your site and purchase the products that they left inside of their cart. Then we have our customers tab and this will be filled out with customers once you start getting those and it will show you a complete list of all of your customers and these will be your customers from your store and you get a follow up with them, you get to see their details, you get to see what they ordered and so on and so on. Okay, so that's the top half. Now let's talk about the bottom half and this is probably what you'll be most interested in early on because this is where you get to configure things like your settings, your domains and your look and feel. Once we click on the settings uh, tab, it opens up some more additional options. The general settings 
is where you should come in early on and you should fill this page out with your store's name, your store's support email, a phone number if you have one, and your physical address. Now, if you don't have an actual storefront local address, just put in your home address, or if you have a business address, you can put that in uh, here as well. This is used for other internal purposes of the software. It's not necessarily shown uh, in very many places to the end user, but we, we do need this to calculate certain settings within your account. So put that in here. And then if you scroll down, you have your refund policies and your uh, terms of service statements. Now, we recommend that you add these. If you don't have your own text to put into each one of these boxes, you can simply click on these generate sample policies. And these will generate policies that you can either use just as is, or you can modify them to fit your needs. Then we come into the custom domain section. And this allows you to change your default domain, the one that was created when you built your store, or you can add a custom domain that you've purchased elsewhere. And we have instructions and other uh, videos just on that as well. We keep going down the list. Here's our tracking page. This is used for if you're more of an advanced marketer, if you've set up Google Analytics or Facebook Pixels, you can put those IDs in here and those will give you some more stats. We'll probably uh, have some advanced videos on this as well later on. And then we have payment providers. This is a big one because in order for you to accept payments online, you need to have a payment provider turned on. So you'll need to come here early often um, and you'll need to enable this. We work with a third party company called Stripe. They are a merchant provider and they will allow you to basically take payments online through your launch cart store and they'll deposit your earnings directly into your bank account. And the nice thing is it literally takes about one or two minutes to fill out a form. You'll get automatically approved for that merchant account. It will be, it'll be completely integrated into your launch cart software and you'll be ready to go. All you gotta do is press this button fill out the form on the next page and you're all done and you can start accepting payments online. Okay, come down here to abandoned carts. This is where you can customize those abandoned cart emails that I was telling you about um, earlier above. You can actually customize what emails get sent out to those abandoned users. This is more of a, an advanced setting, so we'll skip this for now and we'll continue on. Okay, so now we are in the Appearance tab. Let me minimize this one. The Appearance tab allows you to customize anything that has to deal with the look and feel, the appearance, or how your site looks to your store visitors. The first tab we have is the Themes page. And this is where you can browse available themes. You can pick and choose the theme that works for you that you like. If you want to preview the theme, mouse over and select a view example. And this will show you a, a third-party example of what a completed site looks like using this theme. Um, if you want to preview what your store looks like using the theme, you can click preview over here. Now, if you are a brand new store and if you don't have any products set up, um, I wouldn't recommend clicking on this one because it will just show you a blank store and you won't really get to see the full effect. So click over here, view the real world example first, um, and then you can go ahead and you can make these active. You could activate one, and when you do that, it will actually change the whole look and feel of your store instantly. If you want to customize your current active theme, you can click on the Customize button here at the very top, and then you can go in here and you can customize all these additional settings. We'll get to this in another video, but here's how you customize stuff like your logos, your color schemes, customizing your homepage, and so on and so on. Now let's continue on to the pages. This allows you to create custom pages for your store. So maybe you want a About Us page, maybe you want a Our Story page, or you want to add additional pages, you can do so here. Now the next option is you can create custom navigation menus. So every store has a nav bar at the very top, and this is where you customize that so you can show off different uh, links to other areas of your site, or maybe different links to third-party websites that you want to link to. Maybe you already have an existing website. Maybe you have some social networks. You can put links in here as well. And then the very last option, we have uh, fulfillment services. And right now we are integrated with Printful and they come included. And we'll talk about more about them when we get into product creation. But uh, other than that, the only other thing to look at is the very top bar of your dashboard and let's walk you through this really quick and then we're going to wrap up this video so this very first icon is launch cart this means that you're on the launch cart dashboard if you click over here you're going to switch to another service we have called launch links launch links is another tool that we offer for people who do a lot with social media it allows you to supercharge your bio links and you can learn more about that later i want to keep this video short so i'm going to move on this next option here is your store switcher. So with LaunchCart, you have the unique ability to create an unlimited amount of online stores. 
Right now we're logged into one store, but let's say you wanted to create another store, maybe for another business, or maybe you wanted to create a store for a friend, or maybe you have a different idea that you want to do. You can simply create as many stores as you want, and then this list will grow, and eventually you can switch between whatever store you want to manage simply by clicking on this drop down and then choosing the preferred store that you want to go to. Every store is managed separately from other stores. So things that you do in this store won't affect things you do in another store. If you do want to create a new store, that leads us to this option right here. And then if you want to preview your store, you could, you click on this option right here, and this will show you a live preview of this current store that you're managing. The next thing is we have our little bell icon. And if you click on this, this gives you updates about what our team, the launch cart team, has been up to. It shows what features are rolling out, what things are new, what's coming, and so on and so on. It's a very easy way to be in the know as far as what's going on with your launch cart software. And then the very last option is we have your profile options. This allows you to customize your profile. You can find our links to help and support, and you can log out. Well, that's about it. That's a very fast overview of the LaunchCart control panel or store admin panel. Let's go on to the next video.